No, you didn't miss the Williamsport highlight. That's just coming up in just a little bit. But if you missed any scores, any highlights, just log on to WNEP.com. But of course, the game of the night, we're revisiting a classic rivalry showdown between Mount Carmel area and Southern Columbia. And joining us now, the winning coach, John Dara, after a big 35-21 win coach. What were you guys able to do? What was the mood of the locker room after winning this game for the first time since 2011? Our kids are really excited. It's a, it's a long time coming. I'm just really proud of them. So they definitely had a great time after the game. Coach, injuries have really been the story for both Southern and for you guys. You're down to your third string quarterback. Just, just how proud are you of the guys being able to keep the wins coming despite the injuries? Yeah, our guys did a phenomenal job. Um, we've been fighting adversity all year. Um, our kids are used to it. But the biggest thing is they just didn't blink. There wasn't a moment in the game where something difficult happened and, and we had a setback and we panicked we just kept going and we were fortunate to be able to get a victory how big was that swing at the end of the third quarter into the fourth where you guys are able to pull ahead with the uh turnover and then you converted that later into a touchdown yeah the third quarter was big we had that interception right off the bat on um, scored a touchdown eventually got a two-point conversion and then had a couple more interceptions there so it was really a really big quarter for us Coach Dara, thank you so much for joining us live here on the Super 16 Sports Final. Enjoy the big win in Mount Carmel tonight. Well, Milton area is 6-1 so far this season. The players say they've been able to start up this year working hard in the weight room, and it's carried over. But now the heavy lifting continues against another 6-1 team, Mifflinburg. Clap it up, the ladies, for Military Appreciation Night. That's right, got the pink pom-poms out, ready to go to work and cheer on their team. And watch what happens here. The touchdown, Mifflinburg starting out strong. Troy Dressler runs it back up the middle. So many weapons. And then Milton comes back. The Black Panthers, the ball's recovered. Coach Dressler says they've been working on tackling, but a fumble's even better. Moments later, the offense ready to strike again. Troy Dressler, the laser over the middle. That is Kyler Troop. Great connection for the touchdown. 12 to nothing Mifflinburg after the missed two-point conversion. But do not count out the Black Panthers. Kale Bastian, watch it work down the near side of the field. The end zone has his name on it with the touchdown and that starts to come back from Milton area. The back Black Panthers come back to win this one 29 to 26. Well, perhaps the game of the night there, but perhaps no team has been more impressive this year than Jersey Shore. Undefeated, outscoring the competition 427 to 60. Hosting Montoursville tonight and didn't take long for the Bulldogs to bark. Hayden Packer with the short touchdown, 7 0. Next Bulldogs possession, Brady Jordan has trouble with the snap, but has great protection, picks it up, fires a rifle to Connor Griffin, 38 yard touchdown. PAT no good, but it's 13 0. A little fake out on the celebration here. Yeah, no, just a high five. More from Shore. Jordan this time keeps it himself. It's a seven yard touchdown on the quarterback keeper. 20 to nothing after a quarter, and things didn't get much better for the Warriors after that. Jersey Shore with another easy win, 58 to nothing. They have a big one next week against Canton. Muncie still undefeated this season, hosting Kawaneski Valley. A team still looking for their first win. That would not come tonight. Already 6-0. That's Austin Johnson going 30 yards for the score. 13-0 Indians. And since he's got a knack for the end zone, just give it to the kid again. Johnson, another score, this time from 10 yards out. Muncie can throw it too. Branson Iyer to his cousin, Ross Iyer. 55 yards on the Iyer to Iyer connection. Another Muncie touchdown. And the cousins connect again in the second quarter. Iyer to Iyer as Muncie calls off the Dogs and wins 46 21. Back in District 2, Riverside hosting Susquehanna. Vikings riding a three game winning streak and rolling again up 26 0 in the third quarter. Chase Tadonio with the long pass to Anthony Karpinski. Very next play, it's Richie Kostoff with a one yard score 33 0 Vikings. Later, Tadonio with the keeper. He runs it 22 yards for another Vikings touchdown. Riverside up 40 0 at that point. They go on to win 43 0. They're 5 3 on the year with a big one next week at Old Forge. The difference between with the getting that big win there. The always aggressive East Stroudsburg South team taking on Pocono Mountain West. No score in the second quarter. East Stroudsburg South, Kobe Mitchell scrambling, throws it deep, and you draw it up, he shuts it down. Tyrese Hester Bay with the nice return after the interception, and that sets up this Pocono Mountains West. Matt Markovich moves the pile for the end zone for the three-yard touchdown. 7-0 West, Mitchell over the middle this time to Nathan Gray, spins out of a tackle. Oh, I didn't like that. And he goes in, still rolling, still rolling, takes it in for 58 yards to take an 8-7 lead. East Stroudsburg South, Ian McHugh goes deep down the sideline. That's a gain at 25 yards to William Mecca. 
And that sets up this. A field goal from 20 yards out would prove to be the game winner. West wins 10-8. Looks very area, hungry to end that three-game losing streak. Let's head straight to the highlights and see what they did taking on Williamsport. Coach Sinti says they've always been rivals going back to the Wilkes-Barre area schools when they were separate. First quarter, second drive for the Wolfpack. Sinti loves this, the unselfishness of his running backs. They give it to Makai Garner, a 29-yard pickup. That sets up this later in the drive. Gannon Redding tunneling through for the touchdown, and Wilkes-Barre area wins this one, 46-14. They're back in the win column. And back to Schuylkill County, 12th ranked Tri-Valley undefeated, hosting Monoy area, 14-0 Bulldogs in the third. Reese Hunsinger breaks a tackle before being taken down, nine-yard run for the first down. Then it's Jake Scheib, dodges multiple Golden Bears before being brought down. 15-yard touchdown, it's 21-0 Tri-Valley. Third and five now from their own 30, Cole Miller looking to pass. Throws it deep for Jolton Florian. Check out this diving catch. The defense took care of the rest after that beauty as Tri-Valley is still undefeated, 21-6. to Everybody in that Colonial Schuylkill Blue Division chasing the Bulldogs, including Marion Catholic and Williams Valley. This was all Vikings. First quarter, Isaac Whiteash to Brady Evans in the end zone. Five-yard touchdown. Next Vikings possession, second and 10 on their own 13. That is not an issue for Alex Achenbach. How about an 87-yard touchdown for the Vikings? 14-0 at that point. This turned into a blowout. 40-7, Williams Valley, your final score.